The Epson V500 photo scanner has done its job. It scanned in our faded old photograph and we asked it to restore the color. So let's see how it did. There's the old photo in all of its faded, not gloriness. And now we see that the scanner has restored a lot of the vibrance of the color. What is a faded old image that you're probably never going to notice again is now an image that we can start thinking about using in other projects. It's done a great job. So let's take this photo and take it to the next level. The next level is going to involve these. Epson has several large format printers available on the market. Now I know that there's a lot of places that these printers fit but I always think of them as a scrapbooker's dream. That's because they can print off those 12 inch pages that have become the standard size for scrapbooks. Now these printers will actually print up to 13 by 19 inches, which opens them up to graphic designers, photographers, art designers, and all graphic artists as well as scrapbookers. Now we've got two models here today, the Stylus 1400 here and the R1800. Now there are a few differences here that we should talk about. The 1400 is really a general purpose printer. It works on a wide variety of applications, whereas the R1800 is more for photographers and advanced scrapbookers. The main difference between these two is the ink that they use. The 1400 uses Epson's Claria High Definition ink, which is a dye-based ink. The Claria inks are scratch, water, and fade resistant, whereas the 1800 uses Epson's Ultra Chrome High Gloss inks, and they are pigment based inks. Now pigment based inks are made up of tiny encapsulated particles that sit on top of the paper instead of being absorbed into the paper fiber which is what happens with dye based ink and as we mentioned the Claria ink that the 1400 uses is dye based. Now both of these systems are great but the 1800 is really more of a one trick pony. It's made for printing photos. If you need to print other documents the more versatile 1400 might be a better choice. But let's go back to the 1800 for a moment and talk a little bit more about the Ultra Chrome ink. The printer has an 8 ink color system which incorporates individual red and blue ink. That means you get a wider color gamut for incredibly vivid photos. It also has a separate matte and photo black ink cartridge that are integrated in the system as well. So you get the deepest, darkest blacks on matte paper and you get brilliant results on glossy paper automatically. And finally, speaking of glossy paper, there's a gloss optimizer that makes glossy prints look like they come from a traditional photo lab. Now color and detail is going to remain true for up to 200 years because this is a true archival printer. The prints are going to last for over 200 years. Both printers will print banners as well as long as 44 inches long and they also both print directly onto CD and DVD. Now, I want to show you the results of our little experiment here which is printing off this photo on actually we printed it on the 1400 in gloss mode and take a look at the difference that we got. We turned this sad little photo here into a beautiful big 11 by 17 print all in just a few seconds using the combination of the V500 and the 1400. Now digital imaging expands our minds. A high-end personal scanner and a large format printer can set your imaginations free. If you need to do restorative work, if you're a scrapbooker, a pro or semi-pro photographer, a graphic artist or just a hobbyist, then the scanner and either of these printers will give you the tools you need to go way beyond your expectations. And the prints that you make are going to last for decades so others can appreciate your commitment to quality for years to come. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our new website. Check out dototech.com.